and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Miami. It's the Ravens and the Dolphins, next on Madden Football. Playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, a class to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it should be a great one, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game... The The winner here goes to the Super Bowl, and we'll know soon enough which team that'll be as we are underway in the AFC title game. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. Play action. Now Jackson. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they got after them early. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. What a great job getting pressure here on the first drive. Three plays and already two sacks. And that pressure has been intense right from the beginning. And I'm telling you, if they don't make an adjustment in play calling and protection, it'll go from intense to relentless. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. That's taken it around the 40. Gets around him. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. They're mobile QB. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 12 yards there. The Dolphins have a first down. On play action, they'll throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. An excellent pick up of 34 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. 
It's first and goal. A chance for the first points of this AFC title bout. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Still first down. They'll look to throw. This is caught. A gain of seven that time, second goal. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop it right where it all started. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal. I'm looking down from our booths. You can tell this crowd wants them to go for it right now. <laughs> and believe me, he knows it. And he's weighing that through his head right now. Actually trying to filter that out because this needs to be a cold decision by him. Not influenced by the crowd, not influenced by the outside factors. Does he believe in his team enough to go for it right here? I think he's going to reward the crowd and do it. And if he doesn't get it, they have to go the full length of the field. And we'll see. And he returns this to the 22. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there at a first down. Jackson going to keep it running right. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. round pick from April's draft and he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30 and that's all 
Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and nine. Back to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 70 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in the big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start with a give to Henry and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Flowers going to go in motion right. the play fake. Here's Jackson. And he can't escape, and down he goes. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now it's Jackson. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And the return will stop right around the 25. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sidelines is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Dolphins offense returning to the field. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me, and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. From the 24 now, here's second and nine. He'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Now we're first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and 5. It's a game of 5. Brings up second and 5. They'll drop to throw. Yeah, he's got it. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And not only will he not get the few inches he needs, he's going to go backwards. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. No question, he's so dangerous down here near the goal line. The safeties, they have to be involved in run support against a quarterback like this. And in turn, they're going to ask their teammates to be involved as well. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. 
So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Jackson from the shotgun. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Here's Jackson to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is fielded at the 27. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Miami set to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. They go to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They're going to look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. Back to throw again. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Touchdown, Dolphins! From eight yards out. And the Dolphins continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Ravens offense back out there. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field, maybe hit them on those short passes on the perimeter, make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way don't cause any extra stress on your offense. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. 
As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. In motion, the tight end. Throwing is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And Jackson throwing once more. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Flowers. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. This will go to Henry out wide. And he showcases the spin. A pretty good gain before he's taken down. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Here's Jackson. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Raven's going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Again, Jackson. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. He'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's right. And he goes out right around the 39. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A handoff as they run the counter play. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. But first, time to look ahead to the NFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers doing battle with the Seattle Seahawks. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. Breaks through the contact. But a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 
The Dolphins offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation to kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl. And this one, it's far from over. They were the better team in the first half, but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year. And they've got to be prepared for them to fight it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well. They need to stay on guard. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. They'll look to throw again. All right, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. After the interception, here's Jackson. Completes it to Lee. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Jackson now. Room to maneuver at the 35. And finally taken down at the 34. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. Henry running right. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. They'll go in the box as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Now Jackson, he's got his man, it's Andrews. And they went the wrong way there, losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They call it a loss of a yard there, and that'll bring up fourth down. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Tucker's kick is good, and that cuts into the deficit. It's now 20 to 10. But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. 
So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. He'll look to throw. Looking right side, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Jackson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. And that is incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. That's pulled in at the 32. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. The Dolphins offense returning to the field. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Second and nine now. Over the middle, it's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Oh, 
One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. They go play action here on first down. He's to the 15. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. He's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Adafi Owe, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. A pretty big play now in this AFC Championship, third and goal. They'll set up a throw. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And the Ravens are right back in this football game. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. And the Ravens taking the field. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Running the ball can be a struggle in this part of the field. In fact, it's a perfect spot for defenders to pin their ears back and try and work up field, and they capture him for a loss. Henry again on second down. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. And he is out of bounds here. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime, but the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Nifty move. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. Mm -hmm. 
Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Dolphins are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Escapes the defender. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Ravens ready to take over. And their dream of a Super Bowl berth so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Now it's Jackson. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now it's Jackson. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Jalen Carter, he's the one that drops in this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they 